Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video on our programming language series. In this video, I'll be talking about how we can read CSV files and how we can write data back into the CSV format. Because we all are aware that the CSV is one of the very commonly used format uh, in, in order to analyze some data, right? First of all, we need to read the data. So how we can read, this is our today's objective, right? Let's see it here. So uh, I'm having one, uh, one dummy file available with the name airtravel.csv. I'll be using that file for my today's video. So for that, first of all, declare one variable I'm using as a read underscore data in which I'm reading with the function called read.csv. Uh, let's uh, give a simple first argument only as the file name. Uh, because this file is available in my home location, I'm not giving the complete path, like I'm not giving forward slash home forward slash Amrit. So I'm just giving air travel.csv in case if the file is available in the different location, I had to give the complete path then, right? In your case also, you, if you're using Windows, you need to give the complete path, C drive, this and that, right? If it's not available in the uh, current location. All right, let's see the data here. What's the data we have loaded with the print function, uh, read underscore data. So we got this, this data, right? So now let's apply a few of the very commonly used functions on this. Uh, first function we can try like head command. Okay, before we go to the head command, let's also talk about one of the another uh, important point about read.csv. You can see it here, these are, these are the column names. It means it has by default taken the first row as the column names. What if, if, I, I, if I'm using this uh, option here, let's suppose I'm declaring another variable, read underscore data, and I'm also specifying here as header equal to false. Header equal to false meaning is I'm not considering the first row as a column name. Then what what will happen? The system will uh, uh, will decide or will uh, come into the come into the conclusion that the first row is not a column, so it will be treating it as a row only. Let's see it here. If I'm calling the print function on it, you can see now v1, v2, v3, v4 got automatically assigned as a column names, and the month 1958, 5960 got added as a row only. This happens because of the fact we are using header equal to false. By default, it is taking header equal to true. That's why the first row is got uh, like uh, declared as the column name, right? This, this is a point. Now let's apply a few of the function. Like first function is head function. Head means it will display top rows. Let's see, head data, uh, read underscore data. I got top rows in the same way we got a tail function available, right? Let's apply it here, tail function. The same way we have a, another very simple little function available called number of rows. We all know that number of rows are 12. It will be returning 12. In the same way we got the number of calls. It is number of columns. It will be four, right? So again, we can also try a very simple little function called min function in which uh, I want to know the minimum value in the column, let's suppose 1960. So I'll be using dollar sign and 1960. This is how we can do it, right? Dollar meaning is I need to select this column and give the column name here. Let's see the minimum value of uh, this column. It is 390. In the same way, we can also try the max. It will be giving you the max value of that column called 622. This 622, right? This is how we can done. Another function we can apply it here, very useful function. We already, although uh, I've already have discussed this in a different video, subsetting video, it's called subset function. Let's try to uh, extract some part of this uh, data and put it in the, some other variable, right? For that, I'm using one variable called f and I'm using subset as my function, right? In which the first uh, argument will be the uh, existing, this read underscore data and give some condition. Let's suppose some condition is, I want to put all the rows in which the condition says that 1960 year have a value more than maybe uh, 500, okay? This will go into the F. So let's call the F. I got the only four rows got selected, which is qualifying this condition more than 500. All right, so last point coming up, how we can write data back to disk, back to uh, into your uh, laptop, right? For that, I'll be using one data frame. Let's create one data frame it here. So data dot frame it's a function we all know i've already have uploaded this separate video for that right i'm putting a couple of columns here name a b right done in the same way h equal to uh, 28 comma 30. so these are the ages so i got this g got created very simple two by two data frame let's uh, save it in the disk in my laptop with the write.csv function, specify the uh, data frame name, comma, and specify the name of the file. I'm putting it here, maybe, my new file 
dot csv as i'm not giving any path it means it will be saved in my current location or my home location let's see it here i'm coming out of this uh, r language with the cat command i can display the content of this let's see if it's the same content or not uh, my new file dot csv got recognized by pressing tab and if i'm pressing enter you can see it here name age one two everything got printed it here right so this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood from this short little video how we can read data uh, read the csv data in the r language and how we can uh, write the data back to the uh, csv format in this r language right another content the remaining content i'll cover up in a new video thanks for watching guys see you in next video